Welcome to Daily CoinQ Crypto News. Here are today's headlines. Block Tower Founder, Bitcoin is the Amazon of cryptocurrency. Dogecoin has launched a new website for public review and feedback. Binance CEO is willing to support Elon Musk's to buy Twitter. El Salvador claims that $40 million Bitcoin loss isn't real because no coins have been sold. Circle launches Euro-backed stablecoin. Now let's dive into the details. Block Tower founder, Bitcoin is the Amazon of cryptocurrency. Ari Paul, the founder of blockchain investment firm Block Tower Capital, weighed in on the bear market, comparing the current situation to the tech crisis of 2000. Paul wallets Bitcoin BTC to Amazon, which is one of the companies that survived the crisis. Paul compared the crypto market today to that of Nasdaq in 2000, saying that most cryptocurrencies are risky and in their early stages. However, the Block Tower founder emphasized that something like Amazon will survive the crash. He believes it could be Bitcoin. According to Paul, Bitcoin has much better odds than other cryptocurrencies because it has no competitors as a product and in terms of its technology. Dogecoin has launched a new website for public review and feedback. The foundation remembers founding a community group nine months ago to update the old Doge website and form a team to work on any future Doge websites. As a result, a group of 20 volunteers were gathered with a diverse set of abilities spanning from writing and translation to HTML, CSS, and graphic design. Since then, the team has built a system for publishing, translating, and maintaining web pages for the Doge community, beginning with the Dogecoin Foundation website and progressing to the Doge website as the next stage. Binance CEO is willing to support Elon Musk's to buy Twitter. The host inquired as to why CZ remains so dedicated to the Twitter transaction while Musk has expressed no interest in purchasing the platform at the agreed-upon price due to the possibility of a high percentage of bots and fraudulent users in the daily user base. Elon Musk's bid backers, according to CZ, are merely following his lead and are prepared to proceed with the monies required or withdraw them if Musk cancels the transaction. He's leading, we're following, says the CEO of the biggest cryptocurrency exchange in the world, Binance. El Salvador claims that $40 million Bitcoin loss isn't real because no coins have been sold. Speaking to reporters, Zelaya said economists who believe El Salvador was in danger were speaking from the point of ignorance. He added that such analysis were superficial and also said an alleged loss of $40 million has not occurred because we have not sold the coins. When they tell me that the fiscal risk for El Salvador because of Bitcoin is really high, the only thing I can do is smile. The fiscal risk is extremely minimal, and I've said it repeatedly, an alleged loss of $40 million has not occurred because we have not sold the coins. $40 million does not even represent a half a percentage of our national general budget. Circle launches Euro-backed stablecoin. Circle, the company behind USDC, today announced the release of a new product, a Euro-backed stablecoin. EuroC is an ERC-20 token on Ethereum, which is expected to support more blockchains this year. The total supply of stablecoins at the time of launch is unknown. Circle revealed that EuroC will be listed and open for trading on exchanges on June 30th with the support of CEX exchanges including FTX, Bitstamp, Binance.us, Huobi, and DEX exchanges include Uniswap, Compound, Curve, Custody units include Anchorage Digital, Saibabo, Fireblocks, Ledger, and MetaMask wallets. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to the CoinQ channel to stay up to date on the latest news.